Good morning, sweet babies. I hope everyone's doing good today, babies. All right, honeys. Here we go with the Ouija board. Look at that. I got it all kind of colors. I have purple and yellow and green. I did the moon and blue. The clouds around it I did. And let's see what color it was. Uh, porcelain. Mm-hmm. So, there it is. I just throw some colors on there, babies. I dusted it with my, um, get my big fat on, by the way. With my, um, I used this little paintbrush. Mm-hmm. It got down in those cracks. And then for these big ones, I used this one. It's just a flat. Okay? Now then. I dusted mica powder on it. I'll put down in the description every color I used. Um, I'm also going to be adding these beautiful flowers. Yes, babies. And I'm going to be cutting some of that up in there. Isn't it going to be prettier? And then I have these pretty purple flowers. They probably look blue, but they're not. I promise they're purple. And then I have the orange and like a yellow. I don't know if I'm going to put those, but might throw them off up in there too, honeys. So anyway, now, that being said, babies, um, I'm going to put a clear coat of resin. Then I'm going to put my flowers. I'm going to let it sit until it gets like tacky. And then I'm going to come back in and I'm going to do the back with Baltic Day Black Marble. Yeah, I see my camera's acting crazy today. There it goes. And I'm going to mix some of this crushed crystal in with the black marble. Crushed crystal, baby. Unicon Art Crush, Crushed Crystal. It says Magical Mica Pigment Enhancer. Okay. It's pretty, you know, I used it in um, in these coasters here. My bubble wrap coaster. I still like them coasters. I just like them. Okay, and let me show y'all what it looks like. I think I showed you before, but it looks like a uh, glass, kind of. Look at that. So I'm going to mix some of that in with the black to give it a little bling bling, baby. Got to have a little bling bling, honeys. And I'll put all the colors that I use to dust this um, widget board with, honey babies. And I don't know how to pronounce what these things are called. Planchetta or planchette. I'm just going to call it a pointer. Okay, babies, because that's what it does. It points. All right, loves. Let me mix up my resin, and I'll be back with the story of the widget board. Yes, I will, babies. I'll be right back, honeys. Okay, babies, I did it again. I forgot to turn my heating pad on and heat up my resin. So, got it on. Now, uh, while it's heating up, I'm going to tell y'all a little story about this Ouija board. Whoo! Very creepy history on this Ouija board. Oh, Lord, babies. All right, now. Is it a bit of harmless fun or a direct line to the evil spirits? Oh, Lord, make me nervous. The history of the Ouija board is creepier and even more intriguing than you can imagine. In the 19th century America, spiritualism took off in a big way. The new religion stated that the death of the physical body doesn't spell the end of a person's spirit which simply transitions to another plane of existence. Okay. In the 1800s, life expectancy was below 50 years, and people were drawn by the promise of continued communication with their dead loved ones. Okay. Spiritualism also had its fair share of famous figureheads that popularized the movement. The Fox Sisters, two kids from upstate New York, who claimed they could commune with the deceased. Oh, shoot now. 
their routine was the girls would ask a question and the spirits would supposedly uh -huh, answer by knocking on the walls or furniture. And that became a sensation and sparked a trend for popular room seances across the country. Mm, Lord Jesus now! A savvy businessman named Charles Kennard noticed this occult craze and set out to invent a kind of talking table, which would make it quicker and easier to reach the spirit world. Once he had de developed the prototype, Kennard asked his spirits what his invention should be called. And the pointer spelled out O-U-I-J-A. When he inquired what the bizarre word meant, they replied, good luck. So this pointer spelled out good luck, as in y'all gonna need it. Okay, babies. The Ouija board was first marketed as a toy in 1890s with no explanation of how it worked, just that it could answer questions about the past and the present and the future with uncanny accuracy and that it could provide a link between the known and unknown. Okay? Ooh, the mystery fueled demand and perhaps sowed a seed that channeling ghosts might not be an entirely harmless activity. Aided by horror movies, it was in, uh, uh, what was the name of that doggone movie? The Exorcist, you know, where that little girl's head spins around. Oh, Lord Jesus. They say she, uh, that was based on a um, true story, I believe. But, you know, they enhanced it to make it look all good and stuff, you know. You know, her head really can't spin around like that without breaking her daggone neck. So, all right. Uh, as, let me just say, of all the spooky stories, one in particular might give you the chills. Oh, honey, baby, now. William Fold was an early stakeholder and eventually owner of, of the company which provided Ouija boards. In 1927, he was up on the roof of his new factory supervising the installation of a flagpole when the railing he was leaning against broke and he plummeted three stories to the ground below. While being rushed to the hospital, a fractured rib pierced his heart, killing him instantly. It later emerged that the Ouija board spirits were the ones who instructed him to build the factory. Honey baby. So there you have it. The Ouija's creepy back story in brief. Mmm. Was it enough to make you want to leave it in the box, babies? Huh? Was it? Oh, Lord Jesus, honey. I don't know. Who? I don't know about this Ouija board. I just don't know about it. Oh, right, let me see if my resin is uh, warming up there, babies. And no, it's not warm yet. So, whether you say yes or no to the power of this Ouija board, there's no dismissing the legacy of this supposed spirit communication tool that inspires and intrigues amusement and sometimes fear. For more than 125 years, the Ouija board has been an all-American invention that's alternately viewed as a practical way to reach out to the and reach out to the beyond, a slumber party game, and a great narrative device in pop culture. Some even see it as a negative creation and a potential gateway for the demons, the evil spirits to come in. Oh, Lord Jesus, we don't want none of them babies. Whoo! Regardless of the Ouija's power or lack thereof, it is an undeniable part of nation's history. That history was honored on October 14th when the Talking Board Historical Society led the world's leading talking board expert, Robert Merck, 
worked with the city of Baltimore to install a plaque commemorating the location of an April 1890 seance where the board was named Ouija. Oh. Now that place is now a 7-Eleven. It's uh, on 529 North Charles Street and was once Langham Hotel Boarding House. Hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, Lordy Jesus. As much like the location where it earned its name in 1890, the Ouija board has changed over the years. What it cur is currently sold by Hasbro and marketed as a kid's game is a cardboard platform with glow-in-the-dark letters or a plastic pointer with an embedded black light to read the board's hidden, hidden messages. Oh, but there is much history to the Ouija board and the talking boards a.k.a. witch boards that predated the brand. Oh, Lord Jesus, honey. As spiritualism took off in the United States in the mid-19th century, followers used spirit communication such as rappings and alphabet calling. Letters of the movement like the Fox Sisters would speak letters or point to them on cards and waiting for the spirit to knock for its selection. So they would point at a letter. They would move their finger, not on the Ouija board. I'm, I guess they had letters out here. And they would point at it, each letter. And when they would get to a letter, if there was a knock on the wall, that's, they'd stop at that letter. Okay? That's what that means, I'm assuming. Whoo! Oh, Lord of mercy. Other forms that came to be used in the 1850s included table tipping pointing devices and automatic writing. What? By 1886, the talking board was no longer regulated to spiritualists and began appearing in American homes. I had one when I was a kid. I did. I sure did. Ohio was ground zero for ta talking board craze. And the Associated Press picked up a story about it. The article was an example of how the board was becoming part of the mainstream, honey baby. Ooh, I don't know about this board here. Should we try it after we get it all fixed, y'all think? I don't know. In 1966, Parker Brothers bought the Ouija board from the Foles for $1 million. Wow, this was the most a game had been purchased for at the time. Oh, honey, now, talking boards have a long history of being blamed for crimes and death, but the first Ouija victim was Mrs. Eugene Carpenter. In 1891, the divorced 28-year-old consulted the board about whether her husband or lover would return to her. It told her he has ceased to love you and will never return. Merck said she was found later muttering and roaming the streets in a nightgown saying, We just said so, and I knew it was so. Oh, Lord Jesus. Spiritualist leader Sarah Elizabeth Griffin committed suicide via a dose of strychnine in 1900s because God said to do so through the Ouija board. In 1920, after Jenny Morrow was killed in a hit and run, her family began round-the-clock Ouija seances. Neighbors were held hostage to prevent the seance from being broken. The fallout involved several people entering a psychic ward. Oh my God. Unsuccessfully trying to ban the board. They wanted it. They wanted the board gone. The Ouija death spree continued in 1930s in New York. Lillian Jimerson was in love with Mr. Marchand. Jimerson convinced her friend Nancy Bowen via the board to kill Mrs. Marchand first because she could kill Nancy. What? 
Nancy choked Mrs. Merchant with a chloroform soaked rag and beat her with the hammer, Merch said, because the Ouija board told her to. Gal! Oh, Lord of mercy, in 1933, Maddie Turley of Arizona killed her father to satisfy the board's request. As it happened, Turley's mother had taken a lover and likely manipulated her daughter with the board to remove her daddy from the equation, you see. So she told her daughter, the board said, kill her daddy. Because the mama had a love, honey. And she wanted to get rid of that daddy. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord. Mrs. Hurd of Kansas City had been told by the Ouija board that her husband was cheating on her and stealing their money. What? And although it didn't involve murder in 1990, U.S. military analysis deserted their post when the Ouija board told them the world was ending. Known as the Gulf Breeze Six, they were from the seven seventy first Military Intelligence Brigade in West Germany, mm, the biggest NSA listening post outside the United States at that time. Oh Lord, the Wish Board has be, has long been a fascination of the entertainment industry, but it wasn't always the focus of evil conjurings and portals to hell. In fact, in 1912, Pearl Curran claimed she contacted the spirit Patience Worth, who said, Many moons ago I lived, again I come. Patience Worth is my name. Pearl went on to transcribe multiple volumes of rail-received poetry supplied by Patience through the Ouija board. Lord, honey babies. I don't know about this Ouija board. What are y'all thinking? What y'all think about this Ouija board? I think we're just gonna make it and uh and uh make it a wind chime or a uh what you call that thing at uh uh wind chime and a and something else. Sun catcher, how about that? Yeah. Alright. So uh what do y'all believe about this Ouija board? Comment! Okay, gonna go through the colors, babies. And this one right here, I used amethyst, Baltic day. Okay, and this one right here, I used the line, Baltic day. And this one right here, I used crimson. Baltic Day. I think they're all Baltic Day except for one, I think. Okay. And these little letters and the moon. I use Mystical Night. Baltic Day. <sighs> this camera makes me so mad. And um, this here. This thing here. I used Unicon Art Chili Pepper. Uh -huh. um, in the sun, I used Peached Pear Baltic Day. Um, the numbers, I used Rhubarb rhubarb red about J. and I also use in the moon because I mixed it a little bit soft gold about J. uh-huh so I have a lot of colors in here honey I want it to be uh, I want it to just be pretty and the background we're going to be using you know the this uh Crush Crystal by Unicorn. Unicorn Art. And Black Marble by Baltic Day. So that's going to be our our back color. Background color. Spit it out, woman. 
Okay. Oh! The clouds I use porcelain by Dibble Dabble. Mica powder. I love its mica powder. All right. Okay, babies. Now, I just wanted to tell y'all if you want to skip through the short version of the Ouija board story, then go right ahead. All right, darlings. Now, I'm fixing to, I'm using specialty resin. It's one to one ratio, uh, 40 minute working time. Mm hmm. So. I'm just going to cover the bottoms with this clear. And I'm going to put some flowers. Put some pretty flowers in there, babies. Alright, let's see. Where do I want to start? Well, it really doesn't matter. So, um, I'm just going to go here. Just enough to cover the bottom. Not gonna take much for sure. For sure. Oh, I might have put too much in there. I hope not. But if I did, I just did. Okay. All right. Now I'm gonna come over here. And just pour in the some. I don't know if I'm gonna need it all. I'm gonna make sure to get these in the corners real good. Um, and then we're gonna place the flowers. I sh I know I should have placed the flowers first. God. And I had every intention on doing that, guys. But yeah, y'all know how my brain works, right? Okay, this has got to um, fill up there, baby. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get. I'll take my little st sticker here. Move this up in here. I might just put a little more shoot bar. Put a little bit in this corner. Mm -hmm. Make sure it's around your little nubs is what I call them. I don't know. What do y'all call them? I call them nubs, babies. So, how was y'all's weekend? How was it? Tell me. Mine was okay. Mine was okay. Um, got to see my grandbabies. Got to see my mom. Got to see my sister and my nieces. Um, and me and mom are going next week to see my daddy. Yay. Yay, yay, yay. I'm ready. Okay. So now. Let's get our flowers in there. I'm just going to place them um, randomly, okay? So, you know what? I might have that one too full. I hope I didn't get them too full. Well, if I did, I did. Okay, now, here we go. going to put the daisy. I called it a sunflower last time. And it's not. It's a daisy. I'm just going to lay it there and... I'll tuck it in later, okay? Look at this pretty... I, I cannot use those things. Look at that pretty blue flower. Isn't that pretty? I don't know. I think this side. Uh, yeah. Let's do that side. And then we're going to put this pretty pink. We're just throwing them in, babies. Throwing them in. There goes the, like a green. It looks it's looks green here. Now I don't know. It may not be. I'm gonna put that in here. 
Okay, well, there we go. Okay, and this purple, I'm just going to lay right there. Doesn't matter where you put it, babies. Just put it wherever you want, honeys. Do whatever you want to. Whatever you want to. Okay, I'm just going to dust that off in there. All right, now let me get my scissors. And we're going to cut some of these off in here, okay? Just going to cut them off and let them just fall in there. Because I want some in my little ones, too. So, um, just cut me some off. And then I'll mash them down in there. Let's see. If I can, okay, there we go. All right, I want, like, the whole stem in this one. Oh, it does cute. Ain't that pretty? That is so pretty. That is so pretty to me. Yes, it is. I'll fix them when I, um, with my, what you call here, my little, now get your little booty in there now, honey. Get on in there. There you go. Get on down in there. And we're going to come back and do a coat of black and that, um, that beautiful, what's it called again? I don't know why I can't remember what that is called. Good God. Shoot. Let's just say. The black marble and the crushed crystal g Law is going to be what I'm going to put on the, uh, the back of this. To make all these colors pop, I think black would do good. Don't y'all think? I think so, too. I'm going to put one right there. Or two or three. Okay, now. Let me break this off. Well, I guess it cuts better than it breaks. Okay. Now then, I think this is two. Um, not sure. If anything falls off, just let it fall. I'm going to just lie that in there, the whole stem. And I'm going to lie that right there. And I'm going to take my little stick here. Cover them up. Get them down in there. Now, if they pop up, it's okay because, um, gonna put a back coat on here so it's gonna be okay if they want to float let them float babies don't fight with them lord honey it'll make your nerves bad won't it oh yeah okay see like that sticking up uh-huh watch this here i'll take this here and just snip it Oh, what? Get out of my stuff. All right. Now then. Okay, I want. I think I want to move that up just a little. There we go. And I have some green leaves, actually. Um, somewhere. I could put some leaves off up in there. Let's see where my leaves are. I think they're in here. Let's see what we got. I know I got some leaves. Yeah, there's some leaves. Look. Oh, we got this kind. Got those. I'm just going to throw something off in here. Because I, I think it needs some green. Just a little green off up in there. Oh, Lordy. And I think I'm going to put one right in there. Okay. I want one over here. Let's see about this little one here. We'll put this little one in there. Oh, snap. 
like right in there. Okay. Okay. Now then, I want to put these. That's the orange and the um, white. And I think I'm going to leave the stems on. So, what y'all thinking so far? What are y'all thinking, babies? Tell me what you're thinking, babies. Oh. You know what? Now, I think that is a sunflower. What do y'all think that is? I don't know. Huh. I don't know, but we're going to find a place for it. Uh, let's go right in there. And then I want this beautiful orange. Oh, the orange is so pretty. It's like folded or something. I don't know. Okay. Gonna put that there. Um, I'm loving the orange. Oh, I really do like the orange. So, I want another orange somewhere. Uh, let's put it right across there. Oh, no. Uh, snap. I don't know. I'm just going to drop it. Drop it in. Drop it in, baby. I'm going to drop that one in there with that. And I'm going to drop this one in with this. You may not can see it. But, hey, we know it's there. Yeah, you probably can't. See. Oh, look at that. I'm leaving it. Whatever falls off of these flowers, I'm leaving it in there, babies. Not finna go digging around in this resin, honey. No, I'm not. Okay, now then. Alright, I'm just gonna throw these off up in here. Let them fall where they may. And then, uh, we're gonna let this set. I'm gonna do a little finagling. Okay, just a little finagling. Make sure they're all tapped in. Get some resin on them buggers. Uh huh. Get some resin on there. I think I want to pull this back a little. Okay. All right. After you get them all covered in resin, or down in the resin, it don't really have to be covered, because like I said, we're going to do a um, black background, so that will cover whatever's sticking up, so yeah. I just hope it's pretty on the other side. Hope it's pretty on the other side. You do. I'll we'll move that over just a little. And put that there. Okay. Oh, don't tear my purple up. See, when you move them too much, your um, leaves start falling off. So, um, let me wipe these off because I don't want them sticky. don't want them sticking together. And I'm just going to put a little resin on top of this. And a little on top of this. Because these have the big ball things in the middle. So. Okay. That's that. Now we're just. I want to cut these off up in here. Just cut them. Chop them up. Look at that now. Get your butt somewhere. Come on, you can't fit in there, honey. Get in there. Get in there. Come on. Okay, get in there. Alright. Now, I think I just want to chop me some of these off up in here. Because it's kind of boring looking. So, I'm just going to chop some in there. You know what? I... You're not even going to be able to see these flowers. I forgot. They're not, um, 
I did the background. Ha <laughs> ha. You know the front. God, I'm gonna try to get it out out of the out of here. I didn't even think about that. You're not gonna be able to see it. Not gonna be able to see them, but it sure is pretty, ain't it? Come on, come on, baby. We're gonna put you over here, okay? Um, I really wish you could see it. Well. You can't, so. Just gonna pile them in. Pile them in there. All up. Came apart. You came apart. Okay. I'm reading a good... It's not like a, a book. I'll, I'll tell y'all the name of it. You read a chapter every night for 40 nights, and um, it tells you what your meaning of being here is. It gives you meaning of your life, like if you're like, um, you don't know. Say you're sitting around, and you're like, I wonder what I'm doing here. What's my meaning? What's the meaning of my life? You know what I'm saying? So this helps you. To help yourself to know what the meaning of your life is. And it is... I, I love it. it. I love that book. Well, kind of a book. But I will give you all the name of it. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm loving it. My son told me about it. He's reading it. And he's on the eighth chapter. I just started, so I'm on the third Okay, I think I got everything out of there. Okay. So, um, yeah. Let me tell y'all the name of it. Let me see. Let me see what the name of it is. Let's just see. The name of the book is, uh, come on, do I have to go all the way back to the beginning, really? I guess so. The name of it, oh, I, and the chapters are not that long, and it, and it asks you questions at the end. I mean, it's just, I love it. I love the book. So, it's called The Purpose Driven Life, is what it's called. The Purpose Driven Life. You can go on Amazon and look it up. And, uh, yeah, I'm enjoying it. I really am. Let me wipe my uh, tools off here. I know I get off the subject, don't I? Okay. Let's wipe those off. Not that it's going to do much good because they already had resin on them from before. Alright. Now, let me get my mess up here. I'm trying to stay with a clean surface. Okay. That's good. Alright, now. I think that's it. I think that's all the flowers I want to put in there, I think. Mm. So I'm just going to spray these bubbles. There's not really many since I heated the um, resin up on the heating pad. It really takes a lot of bubbles out, warming it. I got tired of going to that sink. Oh, God. Oh, taking those jugs to the sink. Oh, waiting for the water to get hot. Just letting them sit in there and then drying the jugs off. Because, you know, water and resin does not go together, babies. So, it just hit me one day. Oh, my God. My heating pad. Yeah. 
and it works it works I'm so glad I thought about it I really am I'm hoping I do not have too much resin in in these uh, things I know that that's not but this one right here but maybe not maybe it's okay all right babies that's that and when we come back uh, we'll be putting the back on it and letting that sit and then we will demold this thing and if y'all have any questions you want to ask it let me know hey we will do um i'll do a video on just y'all asking questions i'll ask it some questions if you want me to what do y'all think about it lord of mercy hey okay loves i love y'all and i'll see y'all in about four hours all right bye all right babies i'm back so i can touch it and it's not sticky so let's go ahead and get our stuff mixed up babies all right now this is black marble baltic day black marble mica powder okay i'm gonna put it i want this uh very opaque so i'm gonna put a big spoon in there and see what that does give it a little stir here see what it does and then if i can still see through it i'm gonna put some more okay but this is baltic day has strong pigment powder it really don't take much and i probably put too much but better safe than sorry babies don't get that color you want, you know. Make sure it's mixed up in there real good. Scrape your stick. Because some of that dry mica powder will probably be on there. Okay? Now, let's go. Rub it on the sides. Because that mica powder will float. If you don't get it uh, stirred in there good enough. No, and I see where the resin kind of pulled all my flowers to the metal, but that's all right. That's okay. Now I'm going to put some of this sparkly stuff in here. Uh -huh. Some of this sparkly stuff, babies. This pretty sparkly stuff, Crushed Crystal by Unicon Art. Okay. That is the prettiest stuff. Between these and those tricolor beads, uh, gems, Lord have mercy, honey. Now I'm just going to put about that much. Almost a spoonful, but not quite. I want some sparkle in there, but I don't want it, you know, to take over, so. Let's just uh, get this in there now. And I'm hoping it'll make that black pop. Mm -hmm. Start it real good, babies. I'm going to have to order me some more of that. And some more of those bees. Got to have some more of them too, honey. I love them both. I don't know if y'all can see this. But look at that. Look at that sparkle. Look at that. Mmm, that's going to be pretty. It's going to be pretty, babies. I've been in there playing Halo 4 on my Xbox. And I am at a board that I cannot get past for nothing in the world. It's so many creatures. Whoo! Honey. All right, baby. So let's get it on there. I think I'm going to do this first. Let's do this first. 
I'm just gonna let it uh, go on there because I might need a little stick. I don't know. I'll just use my glove. Don't want to overfill it, but I want to know that I have enough, you know, to uh, cover it. Now, I'm a little nervous about these little ones. Oh, Lord. I'm going to hold it way up high. Let it just drip off in there. Now, if it's not enough, I can use my spoon and come back and get it. Mm -hmm. Well, if I could hit the heart, that'd be great, wouldn't it? Yeah. It would. Mm, don't have good aim, baby. I don't have good aim. Okay, well, put a little more in here. I don't like this freaking cup. Oh, I don't know why it, um, why is it doing that? Like going down the side of the cup. I don't know. Stop it. Look at it. Ah! Oh, wow. Oh, my God. I didn't pour it all out on my hand. Oh, Lord. Leave it to me, baby, Sonny. I will make a mess in a minute. I sure will. I will make a mess. I'm thinking this one right here needs a little bit more. Just a little bit. And this one probably does, too. I don't know. For sure. Oh, that one's doming. Oh, God. This one has too much. So, but this one I don't think has enough. Little bit, little bit, little bit. Just a little bit. And now I'm going to try and get some of that off. And wipe that off. Oh crap. Okay. And it looks like it needs just a hair more. <gasps> Woo! Just a hair. This one does too. Just a little drip. Little in this one. Drip. I think that's it. Think. Think. I think. Little. And the rest of it I'm going to put in here because I I believe they're full. Um, they look full. A little bit in here. Okay. Oh, that's going to run off up in there. Oh, okay. Alright. I'm loving the sparkle. Yes, I am. I love the sparkle. That's some pretty stuff. Mm hmm Okay, now let me slow down. Because I get crazy, honey. I be done overflowed this thing. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. It's up to the edges. So, let me check these. Um, this one might need a little more. Just a little. Because I want it to dome. A little bit. You know, I don't want it to go crazy. Okay, now... I have some left over, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my little handy dandy mold here. My favorite mold. Uh -huh, and I'm just going to make me some black flowers. Why not? Let's say how much I got. Mm, um, I guess this one. 
hold real high and let it just drip and get all in those little cracks. I've never had a problem with it not getting in the cracks. I love this mold. I'm making some homemade chili and cornbread. And I'm thinking about making me some corn salad. Oh, that would be so good. Now, I think we might have enough for another one. So, I don't like that one too much. Uh, let's see if we got enough for this one. Probably not, but maybe this cup I just don't know what's wrong with this stupid cup <sighs> make any sense okay alright oh there it went got in there Oh, and we still got some. Julie Louise. Let's make one over here. And then I'm going to cover the Ouija board up. And we will be back in the morning to pop it out and see what it looks like. I hope it's pretty. I hope it's so pretty. Little rosebud. I'm thinking about making a um a tray that looks like outer space colors. You know what I'm trying to say? And um I think these, this black glittery stuff will look good on it. What y'all think? Mm -hmm. I think it will, babies. Alright, that's it. That's it. That is it. I'm going to put this in here. It's not really much, but I'm going to put it in there. I don't think anything else needs anymore, so just going to put it on there. All right, baby loves, that's it. Now, I'm going to clean up, and uh, I will see y'all in the morning, and we will see what this looks like. I'm excited about it. All right, babies, I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, babies. I just had to have me a, um, <clears throat> a little cup of coffee and stuff. Let me turn the lights on, baby, so y'all can see what I'm doing, honey. Let's see what we Oh, yeah. Now, this one's not ready. That's with that um, liquid glass. Like I told y'all, it takes a couple days for that stuff to... Uh, but I think my fairy, yeah, my fairy's ready. Okay, let me get all this out the way and get the main attraction. I'm going to start with these. Still kind of dark in here, huh? Maybe because this is black. I don't know. All right, let's pop these out. Let's see. Oh, oh cute. Cute little. I don't know how you say that word. Is it plan planchette? Planchetti? I don't know. You know that's not very shiny. It's a little shiny. Not as shiny as I would like it. And here is the purple. Cute. Cute! Here is the green. I love that green. I love the green. 
The green is pretty to me. And I think I put flowers in this one, didn't I? <gasps> oh my God. Look. Is that not the cutest? With the flowers in it. I've got a little trimming to do around the edges, but that is so cute. There's another one. Those are the cutest doggone little things. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, let's see what this one. Oh, that's with the blue. Aren't they cute? Alright now. Let's get this big one out. The star of the show. The star. Well, it's not big. This is a little, um, I'm going to let y'all see first. Let me see. Oh, it came out gorgeous, didn't it? Oh my God, it is so pretty. Is that not pretty, guys? I love it, I love it. It is so cute. Now what I may do is, um. Oh, look at the sun and the moon. Look at the moon. Let me see if I can get it in there. Oh, jeez. Look at all those flowers. Look at the sun. Now, what I, I'm thinking is... I want to put these like hanging. The big ones, I want them hanging in the middle. Okay? And then maybe the little ones hanging on each side. Like an angle, maybe? I don't know, but there you oh my God, it's so cute. Look at it. And you know that's too big. But these are adorable. Are these not adorable? I love it. I love my little Ouija. My little Ouija board. Those flowers. And then the silver glitter. Y'all see the silver glitter in the background? You remember that um, uh, crushed crystal that I put? In with the black. See right here on the edge. Well, I guess it's sunk from the black. Oh my God. That is so freaking pretty. Wow. I love it. What do y'all think? I think it's so pretty. Okay. So anyway, to make these letters pop, what I was talking about, is I can take some white acrylic paint and paint over the numbers and the, you know what, let's do it. Let me get some paint. Hold on, babies. All right. I'm using System 3 um, Titanium White. And I'm just going to paint over the letters. I mean, you can see them. I like the purple. But you can't really um, see them that good. It's pretty though. I'm loving these little things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some white acrylic paint and I'm just going to go over it. Okay? And you may have to do it a couple times to get it, you know, to make it look good. You know? Y'all know what I'm saying, babies. So I'm just going to go over the letters. 
and let it dry and then we will come back and I will wipe it off now I'm gonna probably do this um, two or three times just so you know the letters pop real good so anyway I'm gonna paint over that This really turned out cute. <clears throat> My goodness. Those flowers. They're awesome in there. There's no bubbles. Is that not crazy? No bubbles. My little chihuahua. Honey, she thinks she is a, a pit bull. She thinks it. You know, um, chihuahuas are very protective. And honey, she can hear the least little sound. And she's on it, honey. She is on it. Okay, so I'm going to finish this since so y'all see what I'm doing. I'll come back with the alcohol wipe and wipe it off after it dries. <coughs> and, um, probably put another coat and do it again. Let's do that. So, y'all get the, uh, y'all see what I'm doing here. Let's get wee job. We want that to stick out. Got to get wee job. Is that something? Oh, yeah. That's the yes. And... I don't know, I paint don't want to come to the top. Come on. Oh. And we're going to get the no. Now I'm just doing the letters and the numbers. And um, the goodbye and the... Um, we jaw. And the yes. That's it not doing anything else so all right i'm gonna let that dry and i'll be back babies all right <clears throat> it didn't take long to dry because i put it in a thin um coat so i'm gonna take some alcohol and i'm just gonna rub over it okay and take the paint off now it won't come off what's down in there Oh, you can see it better already. Wow. I'm glad I did it now. I like the purple. I did. I, I really love the purple. But, couldn't see it. So, just rubbing this paint off. That's it, babies. That is it, babies. Look at that, how it made it pop. Wow. Too cute. All right, babes. If y'all like the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, like it and share it. And comment down below. My monkey coconut's getting lonely over here. You need some comments in it. Some names, I mean. Alright, so for who don't know about the monkey coconut. If you comment on my videos, then I will write your name down and put you in the monkey coconut. And at 500 subscribers, here's the monkey coconut, baby. 
And at 500 subscribers, we'll be having a free giveaway. Oh, yes, babies. All right. I love y'all. Thank y'all for watching. Y'all want to watch? Y'all might want to see this, too. Let's just see what these look like. Oh, they're just black. That's what I had left over, so I'll pop them out right quick. I love this mold. Just black. And there's a black leaf. I love watching people on molds. <laughs> oh, that one's pretty. That silver kind of sunk a little. Made them shine. This is a rosebud. Yeah. And there's the last. Cute. I know this one is almost dry. It's not quite. So I'm going to put it back over here. Oh, my little fairy. I want to see the little fairy. Now, um, my little flowers are the liquid glass. So we're just going to do the fairy. She was the regular resin. There she is. Oh, how adorable. Is it not adorable? That is just too sweet. All right, babies. I'm out of here. I love y'all. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.